Most of us probably already recycle our paper, glass, plastics, cans, things like that, but what about old used electronics? When they're broken and no longer work, they need to be recycled properly also. It's called e-cycle. This includes old TVs, computers, microwaves, rechargeable batteries, CD players, VCRs, uh, compact fluorescent light bulbs, and your remote. One of the things I've taken in today is this computer. Many people don't take their computers in because of what's inside them, and that's your hard drive. It's got all your personal information in there, and there's a couple ways to make sure it's safe to re recycle. And one of those is basically to wipe it with software before you take it out of the computer. There's commercial software that will do that for you. Another one is if it's an older hard drive, the disk drives in there are glass. And you can mash it with a hammer and break the glass in there, rendering it useless. Another way is to take a drill, a hand drill, and drill a hole right through your hard drive. And that will make it unreadable. So that's what you do with your hard drives, and then they can be recycled. Now, what about our old cell phones? Old electronics here, it's got a battery inside. And that battery is a lithium ion, lithium ion battery, and it needs to be recycled separately from the cell phone. So take those out before you take them in. Glass, plastic, and steel can all be harvested and reused. This keeps them out of the landfill and recycles products from them that can be used again and again. Most electronics contain items we don't want in the environment, like lead and cadmium. But there are also materials in them that we do want to collect, like copper. Or in the case of cell phones and many of your electronics, there's small amounts of gold and silver in there. Here we are at our Hazardous Waste Collection Center. This county has a nice one that's open six days a week year round. Now, not every uh, county has a facility this nice, but you should have a place where you can drop off your e-waste and hazardous waste at least once a year, what they call a roundup. I make drop-offs here all the time, but did you ever wonder what happens to stuff after you drop it off? Well, this county has contracts with people all around the state and the country. And what they'll do is they'll reuse these products in different ways all around the world. Approximately 85% of all the stuff that's dropped off here is reused again and has another lifetime. So it's as easy as that. But currently only about 20% of e-waste is ever recycled. So do your part and bring your e-waste to a local facility or a roundup.